All right, good morning, guys. It's almost lunchtime on the Sunday now. Uh, I literally slept until about 10, 30, 11 a.m. this morning. I was just so tired, like, um, like coming back from Dublin. Uh, Friday night, I only literally had like three hours of sleep uh, before yesterday. But yeah, it was a really nice trip. It was great to see Nahimai and Yemi, uh, a couple of our friends. Uh, probably in the future, I would stay a bit longer because it is quite a long time just to travel just for uh, the day and it felt like we didn't really get to film too much in Dublin either like didn't really get to see too much of the city centre it was just straight there me up with the guys and then hit the gym session food and then by that point it was almost time to go home uh, but it was great to get out and do something different because um, I feel like my life has been pretty sort of on autopilot at the moment. Um, I'm just working, creating content, gymming, eating, bulking. Um, not much else has really gone on apart from that. So it was great to just get out and do something different. So plan for today, it's lunchtime and I've still got quite a lot of things to do. I've got to edit this video out for tomorrow actually I'm going to try and get it out tomorrow for you guys because I release my videos every Monday uh, I need to go food shopping I need to clean the flat because it is really messy at the moment and maybe gym but because I'm so tired right now and like quite drained I might just take a rest day all right and I just wanted to say a really big thank you to 2500 subs I think I hit that this morning and also I'm finally monetized which is honestly a huge milestone for me because I, f I feel like Ali Addo is a person that I listened to a lot when I first wanted to start out YouTube and he said it took him 52 videos to even hit a thousand subs and I've done it pretty quickly so like I, I just have you guys to thank and I'm honestly so 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 grateful like I, I do eventually want to try and make this full time like I eventually do want to do YouTube full time. Like seeing these milestones being hit is almost like a good indicator to like, okay, you're on the right track, you're doing something good and there might be potential. Uh, and then secondly, I'm thinking of maybe like renaming these videos as like a visual diary or something um, instead of bulking diaries, just because like, I, I want to be completely honest with you guys and like, views do matter a lot and all of my day in the life stuff does really really well and if i can try and get the same amount of views as those videos on these because maybe the title isn't as niche as bulking diaries i feel like bulking and like gymming is quite a niche thing like maybe not everyone will want to see that um but i will still have all of my you know, gymming and nutrition and lifestyle stuff in these videos it's just like maybe the title might help a little bit for like capturing people's attention because like views do matter for us content creators, right? Um, it helps with ad revenue, it helps with brand deals, sponsorships, paid partnerships, all of those things that help content creators do this full time as a living. And um, yeah, like I don't want to like pretend that that stuff doesn't matter because it, it really does. I think everyone's goal on YouTube is to eventually make it full time um, or like generate enough income where they can uh, pay for their bills, their rent and be able to quit their nine to five. Right? Yeah, it's almost like when you look back and when you're young, like I, I was really, really into arts and like being creative. I would like paint a lot, I would draw, I would like making things out of like cardboard, I'd make like models of like ships, planes out of cardboard. I was really into like Lego, but I wouldn't follow the instructions. I would make my own things like transformers that actually transformed in a way. I would make animations, I'll make films, stop motion. Uh, animations on PowerPoint, animations on Flash 8. I was really into like editing, all of that stuff. 
And I think when you get older and you go through the education system, you sort of lose that creativity. Like if you're not pursuing subjects like art or like photography, design, it's really difficult to actually keep that creativity that you once had as a child. And when you've got maybe parents who are influencing you to stick to a traditional career path because it's going to be a safe option and it's going to support you and the family, which I understand completely because they're obviously, they want you to be okay and not to struggle like maybe they did. It's tough and you sort of just like bobble along the conveyor belt of like going to school and you go to uni and then you get a corporate job, you get grad scheme and then you sort of just rise up the ranks and the levels and oh now I'm a associate, senior associate, analyst, senior manager, director, partner and it's only until like recently where or like a few years ago where I was, I was just thinking like yeah it's nice corporate job and everything the first few years are great right everything's new you're meeting new people you're going out you've got some money to spend but then after a while it's almost like for me I just thought is this it? Is this what I'm going to do for the rest of my life? Because I don't see myself being in those managerial positions, which is why I just love YouTube because like I am the designer, I'm the creator, I have the vision. I can make that vision come to life without having to like ask someone, oh, is this okay that I do that? And yeah, I'm just like very happy that I'm one step closer to maybe being in that position of being a full-time creator. So yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. And uh, I honestly really appreciate the support and to the people who have commented on my videos saying that they really enjoy them or they feel inspired. Because like for us creators, like, it is really important that we have this feedback because we need to know that what we're doing is providing you guys with value and that you enjoy our content because for us we can't really see you on the other side like right now i'm just talking to a camera but i'm talking to you but i don't know how this is really making you feel unless i get that feedback from you guys so honestly i really appreciate those really kind words from everyone and i just hope that i can keep bringing you all of this good content and to continue to grow and maybe potentially do it full time.
so just finished up with shopping. Didn't get too many things. I just got uh, two kilos of chicken thighs and then 750 grams of beef mince and 500 grams of pork mince. And then I also got these mango slices or dried mango because uh, when I was waiting in line, I saw them and I was like, oh, I haven't had them in so long. So let me just get those. But yeah, I'm going to marinate my chicken thighs now. I would normally cook the beef bolognese uh, on the Sunday so that I can put them in little bags, which you might have seen in my previous videos. I put them in the freezer. And then if I do want to make bolognese pasta, I can just defrost it and then chuck it with the pasta. So it takes very like little time. And with the chicken, I will marinate all of it and I'll put it in a few boxes. And then when it does come to lunchtime or dinner, I can just put it on the pan or put it in the pressure cooker. And that saves so much time uh, during the week.